Welcome to the world of snooker, where precision meets passion. But sometimes, even the most famous players can cross the line. In today's video, we're diving into 15 times the Rocket, aka Ronnie O'Sullivan, went way too far. From unexpected outbursts to unbelievable shots, this is the unforgettable, outrageous side of snooker. Just wait until you see number three. It's one of my favorites. Kicking off our list at number 15 is the intense moment when Ronnie O'Sullivan faced a situation that tested his composure. Faced with what appeared to be a straightforward pink, the snooker legend unexpectedly missed the shot. The surprise miss led to an immediate release of frustration as Ronnie gave the table a hefty punch. No, it always looked wow. Look at that. Sullivan, no. What a reaction. The unexpected gesture made the match somewhat dramatic, if you ask me. But truth be told, this outrageous moment shows the intense pressure and emotions that can boil over in the heat of competition, just like they did for Ronnie at number 14. During this tense match, Martia took offense at an unknown action by O'Sullivan, causing him to abruptly halt the game. In response, O'Sullivan accused Martia of looking for trouble and suggested checking the cameras to clear up any misunderstanding. Tell me what you said. I'm not going to see something. No, you tell me what you said. So, you saw nothing. You saw okay. nothing. Don't look at the camera. This bold move by O'Sullivan paused the match as both the players and spectators awaited the outcome of this unexpected dispute. This might be one of O'Sullivan's first moments on the list, but trust me, it's definitely not the last. Just take a look at his antics here at number 13. In another memorable moment, Ronnie O'Sullivan and Mark Allen found themselves at the center of a heated confrontation during their match. O'Sullivan, known for his sharp focus, became increasingly agitated as he believed Allen was intentionally moving behind his eye line to distract him. The tension reached a boiling point when O'Sullivan couldn't hold back his frustration, leading to a fiery exchange between the two players. See it for yourself. Ronnie, can we just play on now? I think Mark would be careful now. Can we just stop that argument now, please, and play on? Guys, it's time now. From player confrontations to referee interactions, Ronnie has definitely done it all. In number 12, Ronnie O'Sullivan's frustrations bubbled over during a match with referee Leo Scullion at the helm. The tension arose when Scullion called a touching ball, a decision that didn't sit well with O'Sullivan. In a moment of irritation, O'Sullivan suggested that the referee should have his eyes tested or perhaps get a new pair of glasses. <laughs> well, he's just said to the referee he needs to get his eyes tested and this cheeky remark, which some might call rude, added a humorous twist to the situation, leaving fans amused and entertained. As we move on to number 11, we find Ronnie O'Sullivan once again at the center of controversy. After potting the pink ball here, Ronnie didn't hesitate to voice his impatience with the referee's pace. In a moment of frustration, O'Sullivan urged the referee to speed things up, even exclaiming, you're so slow, out loud for all to hear. You can clearly see O'Sullivan's intense desire for a swift game and his no-nonsense attitude here. It was a moment that added an extra layer of drama to the match, just like this one at number 10. In a surprising turn of events at the Scottish Open, Ronnie made headlines when he refused to shake the referee's hand after the match. Citing concerns about germs, Ronnie's decision to forego the customary post-game handshake raised a lot of eyebrows. Come on, Ron, just shake my hand. Gems. Touch my hands, gems. While Ronnie's the one being disrespectful here, up next at number nine, I really don't know which player to blame. In a match already filled with rising tensions, an unexpected encounter between Ronnie O'Sullivan and Ali Carter added fuel to the fiery atmosphere. As they cross paths between shots, the two players unexpectedly bump shoulders, a rare physical confrontation in the world of snooker. The incident not only heightened the drama of the match, but also became a talking point for fans and commentators alike. While the unexpected shoulder bump between O'Sullivan and Carter added some tensions to their match, 
O'Sullivan's audacious suggestion to the referee at the Crucible in number 8 further shows his bold and confrontational approach to the game. At the Crucible, Ronnie O'Sullivan found himself in a row over the placement of the white ball. In a bold move, O'Sullivan told the referee to take the shot himself if he was so confident about the ball's position. Take a look. Yeah, but you can still flick the red on the left-hand side. No, no, you, you try. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you try, he says. This suggestion was pretty audacious and stunned the audience, making the match all the more dramatic. Moving on to another tension-filled match in number 7. In a comical mm. twist, during his match against Peter Epton, Ronnie O'Sullivan took an unconventional approach that left everybody amused. In a moment of creative problem-solving, Ronnie stood on his chair, glancing from side to side in an attempt to spot the ball on the table. This unusual tactic was all about Ronnie's unique and entertaining approach to the game. The sight of a world-class snooker player perched on a chair peering over the table added a light-hearted moment to the match. Well, Ronnie, he's, he's up on the chair. <laughs> What's going on out there? From playful antics to audience disturbances, this list has it all. Let's now take a look at this weird disruption at number 6. During the World Championship match between Ronnie O'Sullivan and Gary Wilson, an unexpected twist occurred when a drunken audience member became the center of attention. The spectator disrupted the match with loud and inappropriate behavior, breaking the concentration of the players and disrupting the event. The situation escalated to the point where the individual had to be removed from the venue by security. Excuse me. Stand on a sec, Ronnie. Come down. Get this guy out. And number five, continuing the drama in a match against Sean Murphy, Ronnie O'Sullivan's patience snapped. After failing to pot a straightforward red into the corner, O'Sullivan's composure cracked and he vented his frustration by hammering the table with his fist. But he's so angry Ronnie with O'Sullivan. himself for missing that red. He leads by 21, but that's far from decisive. The incident added an intense edge to the match, reminding fans that even the greatest can feel the pressure. Ronnie's reaction was a rare and raw display of passion, just like at number four. And yet another moment that added to Ronnie O'Sullivan's legendary status. The snooker icon found himself in hot water during a match. Known for his bold nature, O'Sullivan made a questionable gesture that caught the attention of the referee. This unorthodox sign crossed the line of decorum and resulted in a warning from the official. He's just been warned. The referee has warned Ronnie about a gesture he was making with a cue, so... Um... It's pretty clear that Ronnie has the ability to stir controversy, which sometimes makes the match far more entertaining. Moving on to our top three moments. In this next one, he loses his cool over his own mistake. After a surprising loss to a rookie, a clearly irritated Ronnie O'Sullivan lashed out in a post-match interview, referring to the emerging players as numpties. This derogatory remark sparked controversy and drew attention to O'Sullivan's frustration with the changing landscape of snooker. Getting on to my favourite subject, the numpties. Now, since the game's opened up and anybody can basically turn the tour, we have to go through the numpty phase, which is 128 players coming in from round one, Ronnie plays some fella, never seen him, didn't even know he existed as a snooker player. So O'Sullivan's choice of words shows his competitive nature and his high standards for the game, making this moment a notable entry in the list of snooker's most colorful personalities. It's pretty evident that snooker players face some intense pressure, and maintaining focus at that time is crucial. Maybe that's why Ronnie lost all of his cool during the first round of Players' Championship 2021 at number two. Ronnie O'Sullivan experienced a rare moment of vulnerability here against Ding Junhui. He shockingly missed what appeared to be an easy shot on the green ball. Unable to contain his frustration, O'Sullivan's emotions got the better of him as he tossed the rest onto the floor in a rare display of temper. Well, he'd be absolutely enraged. O'Sullivan's yeah, absolutely enraged. You could sense it. Ronnie O'Sullivan had one foot in the quarterfinals, and then that, the yeah, miscreen, the rest flung. This unexpected reaction from the usually composed snooker legend made the match all the more dramatic. 
it's pretty clear that even the most experienced players face some intense pressure at snooker. Now, for the moment you and I have both been waiting for. Our number one moment of Ronnie O'Sullivan going way too far. You probably already guessed which moment that is. What else could be at the top of our list except for this funny moment when Ronnie told a fan to freeze? In a classic Ronnie O'Sullivan moment, the snooker legend found himself distracted by a fan in the audience during a crucial shot. In typical O'Sullivan fashion, he didn't just ignore the disturbance, he directly addressed the fan, asking them to stop moving and freeze. Thank you. Freeze. This unusual interaction was extremely amusing and also showed O'Sullivan's intense focus on the game. Not to forget, it also reminded everyone why O'Sullivan is not just a great player, but also a memorable character in the world of snooker. So these were the 15 times Ronnie O'Sullivan went way too far. Enjoyed the video? Hit like, subscribe, and share for more snooker highlights.